everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and we're playing some Silent Hill 3. Time to go! This is Silent Hill. Hey, Douglas. I just met some guy named Vincent. Uh, Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? No. Well, I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. Things that we don't what get do to see. To <laughs> we can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. I mean, you do. Let's be honest here, you do. <laughs> you cannot listen to him. Here, take this. Why'd you pull that out of? <laughs> Your father was holding it. How did she? He wasn't holding anything. <laughs> Also, why did you have it? <laughs> Stealing things from corpses? <sighs> it started raining. You don't say. Are you sleeping? No. I'm awake. You cold? She's really not wearing that much on her, like, on her arms and stuff, so yeah. Hell, anyway. It used to be a nice, quiet little town, but now... Demons happened. You Lots of there? demons. Once, on a missing persons case. Never did find him. James! <laughs> James. I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work, you hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No, she, he's right. <laughs> no offense taken. Oh, I love this music so much. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. Portland! <laughs> What's wrong? It's my people! <laughs> Pounding like the worst thing. Hey, they're in here, you're my people! <laughs> Maybe you're car sick. No. I'm just trying to remember my childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. I tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. Man, it was crazy. <laughs> Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. Huh? And Harry killed see, it. That girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. My father, Harry Mason. Badass. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. But I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. Using you, and you're going right into her hands. I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too? I'm that same girl. <laughs> After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. Uh, crotch shot of Douglas. Cool. <laughs> Of 
love me just like I was his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. It was so sudden. Oh, this, God, this game is so good. I never had a chance to, to tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. <gasps> All this game. Time to go kill Claudia! I'm gonna head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. What reason does she have to check out the hospital? What's Got the map, right? Yeah. Also, detective guy taking the obvious easier okay job. Alone? I'm not a child, you know. I I brought like an arsenal somewhere sure in my pouch. It's not you who's afraid to be alone. Maybe you shouldn't split up You're to right. begin with. I am afraid. I don't split. <laughs> Horror trope 101. Fifty something years old. I never seen nothing like. This. Doesn't know his own age. <laughs> I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke on. Smoking is bad for you. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. Tell them they're able to check into a hotel just fine. Like, <laughs> there's somebody sitting at the desk of the hotel. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, so it'll be like 30, 50, 100 bucks a night, whatever. <laughs> Save point. Mm, I'm out. And fog. <laughs> and fog. Where is my katana? Give me my katana. <laughs> it's like, and bloodstains. Immediately. It's like, yeah. Douglas got killed the second he got out of the, got out of the room. Where's the, where's the goddamn exit? I have a map right, okay, I do. Mm, heaven's, ooh, we know Heaven's Night. The Brook Haven, so that is one thing that I kind of felt was weird about this game. The fact that it has you go to Brookhaven Hospital instead of Alcamilla Hospital. And I know that's because this game reuses like the town asset and a whole bunch of assets from Silent Hill 2. And Silent Hill 2 used Brookhaven Hospital, not Alcamilla. But of the two, the one that actually has to do with Heather or Alessa is Alcamilla. <laughs> but uh, I know it's because Brookhaven is supposed to be sort of more of a mental hospital in addition to a regular hospital. Or they retconned it into a mental hospital. Could you not? Like, dude, I've done nothing to offend you. I'm just trying to hit walls. <laughs> and find Claudia so I can stab her with my katana. I'm gonna get the bad ending and stab her with the katana at the very end. Just for, just for shits and giggles. And also katana. Hi! How you doing? See you later. Don't make loud noises, please. Don't fly at me. Don't fly at me. You make really loud noises that I don't like when you fly at me. Should have the entrance here in a second. Mm, there we go. And Brookhaven. Time for nurses! Immediately finds an unlocked door. Uh, might as well save. Save completed. I think this game has nurses with guns. 
sink. Something here. Yo. Hmm. Oh, but there's someone here. Got a health drink. Nothing else, though. Lock's broken. Because of course it is. Okay. Should be a. Oh, map! <laughs> there should be a map somewhere. Ah, crimmy Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got a lot of rooms to check out. Got it. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Leave me alone. Fuck face. Okay. Done. Cool. It's broken. Lock is broken. Lock's not broken. Oh no, I forgot about this guy. <laughs> there must have been kids here too then. Oh Jesus. No, no, read the book. The day has, this day has finally come. That's right, the day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. <laughs> I want to give you my prized doll I made to commemorate our meeting. The start of this everlasting love. I can't, oh, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Colvin. <laughs> oh boy. And then you look at the doll again. Wait, wait. No, no. Stop being dumb. Stop, stop being dumb! God damn it. Little. Disgusting. I'm gonna touch her with a 10-foot pole. So yeah, now she's like, ew, gross doll. It's <laughs> broken. Lock's broken. There is a nurse around her. I can fucking hear her. No, I'm not done. 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 Let me out! <laughs> Let me oot! Do you know what? Where the fuck are you? Come here. I'm gonna get you. That's alright. Okay, there's nothing there. I can't. There she is! Come at me! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Katana best weapon! Kick her! Okay. Is she dead? Cool. She dead. Now the creepy music can stop being creepy. The paper? No. Or paper? Something of interest on the desktop. Broken, locks broke. What is the point of this room? It's been a quicker to something, it's for this Leonard guy. Could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Room S12, presenting mild autovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas. Suspect suspect mild schizophrenia will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. Still going for Stanley Coleman. It's the guy who wrote that sick diary. Room SO7. Usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. Yeah, and like, we never find Stanley Coleman. Okay. Why am I- there we go. I'm stuck on a wall. Is that all the doors? No, I saw the couple. Box broken. Box broken. Box broken. Close that all of them. Mm, no, I miss them. I guess the next one. There we go. There we go. Okay. Hey, nurse. Hello, nurse. Oh, shit. 
Come at me. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> Me alone. Right, keep kicking you. Keep kicking you because I can't get the bad ending on the first playthrough. <laughs> so I can kill as many people as I goddamn please. Lock's broken. Lock's broken. Lock's broken. Lock's broken. Lock's bro broken. Jesus Christ! <laughs> God, I forgot about that room. And it's another note from Stanley. Great. <sighs> the organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will, make me forget all about that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can you? With those junk those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, oh, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. God damn it. A lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever put this was probably used glue, but why do this in the first place? And there's a key. Yeah, so I need the key. And I need nail polish remover to get the key. So, that's all the door- yeah, okay. So I need nail polish remover, which is going to be on a different floor. Hey nurse. Bye nurse. Should probably check this. Okay, just, just cover my faces. Hey dead nurse. <laughs> Bye dead nurse. How's my health doing? Oh Jesus! <laughs> Close enough. I'm on the first floor. I can't go. I don't think I can go to the basement. Yeah, I can't. I'm gonna find another way to the basement because the basement is where Stanley and uh, uh, Leonard are. <gasps> Take a second. Where am I? Okay. Down there. Cool! Let's go to this area first, I guess. That goes that way, so I'm gonna go through this area first. Gotta do this systematically so you can go through everything. Nurse. Swear to god. Oh god damn it! <laughs> no, read the book. Read the book, Heather! Heather, I swear to god. Heather! Heather! Don't look at the doll read the fucking book! Thank you. You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door is locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame? I'm not there. Are you too irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Okay. Okay, Jareth. <laughs> and your eyes can be so cruel. Okay. The first is larger than the second. The second is twice the third. The third is smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the bottom row. One of the numbers is the final key. Fuck. <laughs> yes! <laughs> 8634! <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Cool. Sorry, I'm gonna cut that out because I was literally just sitting here completely silent trying to do the puzzle in my head, but I'm gonna show you how I did it. So, the first, since the first is larger than the second, um, but the fourth is half the first, that means that the first has to be an even number. The second is twice the third, so that means that this, the, the first and second numbers have to be even numbers, or else they couldn't be split. Um, and since the first is larger than the second, I was like, okay, I'm going to try eight, because that's the highest even number. Um, that would mean that the second number would have to be six, four, or two. Um, but if the first number is eight, then the fourth number has to be four. And if the fourth, first number is four, that means the second number can't be four, so that means the second number has to be six or two. Um, but since the second one is twice the third, that means that it wouldn't be two, because, I can't remember, uh, I can't remember the logic that came up with that for that one, but, so we got eight, six, blank, four. And since the second is twice the third, that means the third would have to be three. So eight, six, four, or eight, six, three, four. Got it? I didn't even use the second half of the puzzle <laughs> when I did it. I just went off the first part, but it happens to fit all of this, too. Logic. I know these bitches has a gun. I remember one of those ladies having a gun. The start time is my key. Okay. <laughs> There's a medical record here. Could it be for this dead guy? Background unknown, an image unknown, not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4, the chief discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to a severed carotid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife and right hand. Why did they give the knife to a mental patient? In right hand, assume this was the cause of net wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of events from patient residing in the same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Um, you're kind of required to, to report this shit. The start time is my key. Okay. Oh shit, I missed those doors. Oops. No! Locked. Of course it is. Lock is broken, lock is broken, lock is broken, lock is broken. Damn it! <laughs> Fashion magazines. Wait, 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 wait. Shit, was that the perfume? Okay, no, it's a nail polish remover. <laughs> Because I remember you don't want to pick up perfume. Oh, and the perfume's up there! Not picking it up. So if I remember correctly, it makes the nurses more dangerous if you have the nurse perfume. Sort of like the doll in Silent Hill 4. Okay, so I can go to the first floor. And I should be able to get that key now. Oh. I see nothing! Okay. Oh, there it is. And then we'll be done with the first floor, I think. Because I don't think there's anything else on the first floor. Okay. Just waiting for the happy birthday call, too. And that one was... Uh, okay, there's no locked doors here. That one was all the way at the end of C at C4. Okay. Hi, nurse. Hi, nurse. <laughs> Hello, nurse. <sighs> okay, so I should 
Nail polish remover use. Give me the key. Give me the key! Okay, stairwell key. Don't know where that goes! But I have it! Oh, it probably just that stairwell, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, the door that I completely missed? Nope, lock's broken. Cool. So it doesn't go to that stairwell. Oh, it goes- it must go to that stairwell. Banners! Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh, crap! Nope. Damn it! Hi. You know what I have to say to that? Katana! <laughs> okay. Uzi! No, pick up the damn Uzi! Submachine gun. Lock's broken. Lock is not broken. Oh, this is the room that I need. Right! Cause I don't have that yet, do I? No. Oh, I should probably do this because I didn't do it, um, earlier in the video, but this is what Harry wrote. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this, before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thank God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died. Another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God, Alessa Gillespie. Half of her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby, in that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into the sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with their usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone could have bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Lessa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's and probably a Lessa's conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished in the glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like the girl, that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now seventeen years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations about first about raising the baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger. There were times where I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when you looked at me, you laughed so. Even now I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter. Harry Mason. Feels! <laughs> so many feels. Feels everywhere. Okay, so I don't have... Yeah, I don't have the camera I need for... Oh, can you know what the camera angles, please? Okay. Right. Some machine gun bullets, cool! Lock's broken. So I need to find a camera. That goes to the first floor. I'm gonna go to a save point. 
You kind of need to. More nurses. Hi, how you doing? Okay. Because it's been 30 minutes. It's about time for me to end this video. So, Harry's dead. We have run away. Silent Hill. And shenanigans have occurred. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I will see you all in the next video.